Uh, we have got a lot done so far. To get to where we're at, we've got the road repaired, we've got the landing station built to put the kayaks in, we've come back, we built a trailer to haul them both on to get them through the woods and actually to haul them on the road anywhere else I want to go. So I've got all that groundwork done. Now the last little bit is I'm going to rig some tackle up real quick, like kind of go through a few things, things I think I might catch them on. If there's a bass in there and then I'm headed in there to fish a little bit, you know when it comes to pond fishing, whether you know they're in there or not, you know you, when you fish someplace in a pond and it's like really secluded and there's not a lot of noise, you're not going to come in there with a lot of super aggressive bait. So like a buzz bait, even though I have one, that's probably going to be a little bit aggressive for that pond because it's so quiet back in there. So I probably, I'd probably going to start out maybe with a frog, a, a, like a popping frog. I'll probably rig up like a little zoom, uh, something like a uh, their fluke stick or something and just throw around in there weightless. So I'm going to rig up a spinning rod real quick like and one bait caster. Probably throw in some 30 pound braid on that bait caster. Go in there and see if I can catch one on a frog first. Have my spinning reel with me. So y'all just kind of stay tuned. I'm gonna spool up real quick like. I've got me a brand new loose spinning reel. I'm gonna put it on my rod and get in there. I just grab stuff out of my shop. I'm not in a hurry. I mean, it, it, so you think, like, if you watch this, you're thinking, I bet you money he's fished in that pond before. No, no, I have never. I have not. I don't even have any tackle up here. So I'm like having to run through my barn, my fishing room and just grab stuff. Cause when I come up here most of the time, I'm working. Like my wife's out there cutting the grass right now and Tanner and Tanner's in here filming me and they'll tell you, I had to go out there and put the belt back on the lawnmower. I had to go get gas. So most of the time when I'm up here, it's full on work. It, it's not like something that I just have all day to go play around. So I'm like, I stay pretty dang gun busy. So it's just like fishing has not, never really been an option up here. So I'm gonna throw a little, this is just actually like a, little size 30 loose spinning reel. I'm gonna throw some, a little bit of fluorocarbon on the back and then some braid right over it and then tie me a little leader on it. And the reason I'm gonna do that, it gives me some versatility. I like, I could swap out no matter what I needed in there. You know, if I wanna throw a worm or something, I could, if I get bites and I think there's some big ones in here, I can always come back and upgrade my leader size a little bit. Hit that reverse. I'll start with some 12 pound and just put on the back of the reel to keep from putting all that braid on. You don't want the braid so expensive. You don't want to just tie all that on at one time. So I go full carbon in the back, tie it on and reel on about 40 or 50 yards of floor carbon in there. Then throw a little bit of braid on top of it. And I like that SX1, like that sunline there, cause it's yellow. As you can see, my eyes probably not as good as it used to be. So I could see it. And I just noticed that the rod that I grabbed is missing a guide but it really casts better that way. It elongates the cast, it's less restriction. So if you feel like you're not getting enough length in your cast, just break a few guides off. Extend it right out there, you know. Really does take away from the friction. Put on the reel swing like this. That's the way I do it. Then you can pull it down, you watch that tag all the way down, pull it tight, ready to put line on, just that quick. That way you're not trying to reach down in there and cut no little bitty tag or nothing like that. You can flip that spool to watch that line come off. That. If you get in a hurry, you just do this right here. That's really good to jump off the table. See how the loops are bigger than that? Instead of real kinky, that means it's coming off the right way. When you're doing it like that, if it's real, really tight loops, you need to flip the spool over and it'll actually be going on the right way. This is some actually 16 pound high vis yellow SX1, but their 16 is super, super fine, so it's almost the diameter of everyone else's 10. Probably gonna throw that new zoom slinky worm out there with just a little bit of a weighted worm in there. So you can't let stuff like that bother you, like it jumping around. That like that would hinder a lot of people. Not a true pro. You just reel right through that. That's just something you don't want to participate, so you just reel right over it. And there you go. I got my braid on there. Now I'm gonna come back and tie my leader on. I don't want to get a hold of no monster. Should I move the whale and not have a big enough line? So I just go with a little 12 pound leader. 
and tie my knot without my glasses on. Man, I think pond fishing, like when you're doing this, a lot of people that you see, you, you come in with too aggressive baits and too big of hooks and stuff, and you just, you just don't know, like around some of those settings, how quiet it is, how many big fish is in there. So I'm always one to kind of start out something kind of subtle, pitching it around. I'll put a little nail weight and one of these little zoom slinky worms. And just kind of pitch it around. Be a good subtle start on them. I'm putting on a ratchet strap, man. That ain't going nowhere. Just a little BMC hook. I could come in and put my little nail weight or something in there. Something super light and kind of too heavy. If you make the pack that hard to get in, I'm just going to cut through you. Mm, it's too heavy. like that better. Seven foot. I normally would throw a frog like on a seven two or seven three, but just because I'm kayaking in a pond, I got overhanging limbs and the transportation of getting anything in and out of there. I'm going to throw it on a seven. Now you just have a regular pond bar now. I'd be there at the weigh in, boys. It ain't going nowhere. I don't care how big he is, he'll be there at the weigh in. Worse than me. A lot of people like long hair frog legs. I don't. I usually cut them all the way off, but today I'm going to give them a little short curly cue. Walks better with no legs like that. Got one more rod here and it's already rigged up. I'm just carrying a spare rod because I got a chatter bait in the boat. So I'm just going to carry me a spare one with some 16 on it. So I'm going to throw this stuff in the boat and we're headed into Lost Lake. If we don't catch any, we'll be back pretty quick. Any other pro, I'm set up with a lot of poles right here. Come on, six pounder. There ain't many in here. You should see the line of brim that are this big. I see fry all in here. If you look down the water, it's like mega fry just swimming around. Oh, like Texas. Had to been a blue deal. Oh, oh. I got him. I got him. I got him. Hey, bite to bite. I ain't scared. I ain't not scared. I mean, two inches, two pounds. Doesn't matter. Hey, hey. Good <laughs> Got me one. We fixed the bridge. We cleaned the roads. We fixed the spot to put the kayak in. We built the trailer. It's amazing what one fish, one fish. That's all I wanted just to see if there's a fish in here. And we got him. That's a defeated bass because we put the work in. It ain't about the size of bass you catch every day. Sometimes it's about things you set out to accomplish. Oh yeah, got him. Got him. Oh, he's a puller. He ain't bad, he ain't bad. I'll take everybody I can get. Come here, oh, come here, come here, come here, come here. I just wanna get my finger in your mouth. Uh huh. Uh-huh, we didn't lose. We ain't winning, but we ain't losing. I can tell you that right now. That's a couple of bites, I've lost one. Oh. Got him, chatterbait, chatterbait. Oh, 
That was the best one yet there. 